Hey y'all, it's Zach. Uh, tonight we're gonna be making a really good shrimp recipe. It's called Bang Bang Shrimp Pasta. I went out and got a pound of golf cart shrimp. I'm gonna peel and debang those. Um, I've got some penne pasta. Uh, if you wanna use spaghetti pasta, which a lot of people do, you know, go ahead. Uh, I just don't recommend doing it in the Instant Pot because I have not been able to succeed in, in perfecting spaghetti. Uh, so I like to use penne or ziti pasta. So I've got a box of penne, I've got some chicken stock, um, some garlic and butter that I'm gonna be sauteing the shrimp in. And then for the bang bang sauce, I've got some sweet chili sauce, some sriracha sauce, mayonnaise, and lime. So let me go ahead and get to peeling and debaining my shrimp and cutting up my garlic, and we'll be back. So I turned the saute function on, and I added half a stick of butter. And I don't pressure cook my shrimp. Um, I mean, we cook a lot of shrimp down here, and so pressure cooking just changes the whole texture of it. And so anyway, I'm gonna saute it. So I've got my shrimp peeled in the vein. I've got my butter in here, and I'm gonna add my little secret recipe to the butter. I've got a tablespoon of white wine. I'm gonna cook that down in there. All right, now that white wine came from a box, so you know it's good stuff. <laughs> All right, chef's going in. She's in there. All right, you're gonna cook these for a few minutes on each side because they're gonna start turning pink quick. Uh, about the last minute of cooking, I'm gonna add my garlic. All right, so I'm gonna keep these stirred in that butter and that wine. They start turning pink, they're already starting to turn pink. Uh, it only takes just a couple minutes on each side. So, when they turn pink, I'll take them out, and then we'll go to the next step. Now remember, the last minute of cooking, I'm gonna add my garlic in and saute that in there with it. All right, we'll do that. All right, so I sauteed my shrimp down. In the last minute, I added the garlic in with the butter and the wine. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Just when it starts turning pink, you wanna get it out of there. Um, it's got a good texture to it. All right, so I'll turn my saute function off. What I'm gonna do now is I got my box of PA pasta. That's in there. Now I've got a, I've got a uh, four cups of this chicken broth I'm gonna use. That kind of smoothed out in there. I don't know if I'm gonna need all four because what you wanna do is you wanna cover, you wanna just cover and submerge the noodles. What happens if, if you don't submerge them, get them wet like that, some of them are gonna end up hard. All right, so take my lid, make sure it's set in the sealed position. Manual cook or pressure cook, depending on your model, and I'm gonna bump it up to six minutes. Okay, so we'll be back. All right, so we cooked it for six minutes. Then I did a 10 minute natural release. And folks, that's perfect pasta. There's not a dry or a hard noodle in the pot. All right, the key is making sure all your pasta is submerged. Again, this is pina and not spaghetti. I don't even fool spaghetti anymore. All right, so while that was counting up, I made my bang bang sauce. I used a half a cup of mayonnaise, a half, or sorry, a third a cup of sweet chili sauce, and this is what puts the bang in bang bang. That's your hot sriracha sauce. It's not really that hot, but I only put a tablespoon in there. So get that all smoothed in. I've got half a lime. We'll squeeze that in there, and just half will do it. Don't put any more than a half. So, get that all mixed in. All right, I'm stir this in the noodles to kind of cool them off before I put the shrimp in there, because I don't want the shrimp to do any extra cooking. Get all of I can. Yeah, there we go, we're good. All right. I get this all mixed in, Ooh, the smell of that is fantastic. I deserve it here. All right. So now I'm going to put my, my shrimp in. Get 
that all stirred in. And there you have it, folks. That is bang bang shrimp pasta, perfect every time. We finally got the recipe tweaked the way we liked it. So it's time to get down on it. So we will see y'all next time.